check it. Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Janelle Samora, and this is Scent Talk from my closet, the fragrance closet. On this channel, we go over all things fragrance. We cover niche perfume houses. We go into layering combos. We talk about dupes and clones of original fragrances, highlight indie perfume brands, all things fragrance. If that is something you're interested in, go ahead and continue watching. Consider hitting that subscription button and the bell so you'll be notified to new videos. So if it's your first time on the channel, um, just know that on this channel, we like to focus on one perfume house or topic at a time so we can get a really good feel for what they have to offer, explore, understand the house and, um, you know, what are the differences, what are our favorites. Then we go ahead and bring those loves into the collection. So for today's video, we're comparing genres, Mellow Vanilla, right up against the original fragrance it's inspired by, which is Escapade Gourmand. So Genre Perfumes is one of those houses that we just really got into. We wear tested quite a few of their fragrances and just found some loves, honestly, some staples. If you're not familiar with Genre Perfumes, I do have an entire week or two on the channel um, of Genre Perfumes. So basically, they are an inspired by fragrance house, but they also have a plethora of products you can find on three different sites. So the first site being uh, louisianaroma.com. That is their uh, website. And on that site is where you can find the home products, uh, candles, room sprays. You can find beard oils on there. And their Ella Aroma line is also on uh, louisianaroma.com. Now, so, and some of their fragrances as well, I believe. I don't believe I've ever purchased off of that site. I I have not. I've only purchased off of their Etsy site and also during their ordering windows. So on their Etsy site, it is also called Louisiana Aroma. And on that site, uh, you know, the owner will go ahead and load up a few products at a time, uh, whatever is available to go ahead and sell on the site. Now, their ordering window is where the real action happens. <laughs> if you are a fan of the brand already, then you know the process. You go onto their website, you join the Facebook community, and that is where you get all the updates on restocks, on all the different scents that are available. You get to choose your scents, fill out a Google Doc form when the ordering window is open, and uh, then just pay your invoice and wait a couple of, of days to get your order. Extremely fast shipping, great customer service. I have nothing but great things to say about this perfume house. Wonderful, wonderful owner. His name is Devin Bro. Um, I'll put it up here because I think I'm spell I think I'm pronouncing it right now. <laughs> very, very sweet gentleman. Amazing, amazing products he's got going on over there. So for today, we are going to compare this fragrance that I just completely fell in love with from one tiny sample that I received from Crystal Fragrance. Uh, the minute I tried it on during our Vanilla and Gourmands week here on the channel, I said, oh, sold. I believe I got the full bottle in even before we were done filming the Vanilla and Gourmands weeks. <laughs> oh man, okay. So let's go ahead and get right into this. That was, I just wanted to introduce for those of you that did not know about Genre Perfumes and their brand. Um, you know, so you can go ahead and go get the 411 over there. They have an extensive catalog. They really do. Okay. This fragrance, Escapade Gourmand, was released in the year 2020 and it is from perfumer Vincent Record. It is the only fragrance of the house that is the only creation thus far. And I wonder if I wonder what's next for this house. If this is the only creation they come up with, I'm I'm okay with that because it is just a wonderful fragrance. A lot of people get a different aura than I do, possibly from the fragrance. Uh, but there's so many more people that are in the same uh, team that I am as far as what they're perceiving from it. And this is an amber vanilla fragrance. I just go, I have gone on about it. I will go ahead and link in the description the layering combo video that I have with Escapade Gourmand. Let me tell you that a couple of times when I have done some layering with Escapade Gourmand and a few other indie brands or even just, you know, straight up fragrances that I've done layering combos with Escapade Gourmand, I have gotten 
compliments. I have gotten complimented. You smell like baked goods. Oh, that smells wonderful. Oh man, in this fragrance, we have black sugar cane, vanilla, tonka bean, musk, and benzoin. This 100 ml bottle runs you, I uh, will put it up here, I believe it's $280, uh, if I'm not mistaken. It is a pretty pricey niche quality and niche fragrance. It's a niche perfume house, meaning they do not, um, you know, create anything else other than fragrances. So, um, yeah, Mason M Mataha, I believe, Escapade Gourmand. Oh, it just has really captivated me. It came in at number two on my top five uh, vanilla and gourmand week because it was just, it's that good. But I'm sorry, this is my heart right here. <laughs> Bonnier West Indies. So I will be referencing her in this video as well. The original Escapade Gourmand, you guys, it just comes at you nice and thick and heavy. This is a heavy fragrance. It is, um, oh man it is deep caramelized sugar scent we have nothing burnt or smoky to my nose um even after it hits my skin i don't get anything you know repulsive in any in any way at all oh it lightens up a bit into that wonderful just wonderful vanier west indies uh cookie quality scent that you get out of here Yes, it does. So at one point, you're getting just these baked good feels. They differ in the fact that this Vanier West Indies is perceived to people's noses as cotton candy vibes, cotton candy-esque. There is an orchid in here that just lightens up the entire scenario. And for me, it just works so beautifully on my skin and it fills up an entire room. So does Escapade Gourmand. It definitely fills up an entire room. It has got its own flavor. I can detect maybe a little bit. It goes into a little toffee, little nuance as well, a uh, toffee candy. And it is, it's, it's got black sugar cane, vanilla. I've already talked about what it's got in there. <laughs> uh, vanilla, tonka bean, musk, and benzo. In. And it is so, it is just captivating. If you are a vanilla fan, a vanilla lover, then you know exactly uh, what I'm talking about here. When, when you're looking for a vanilla forward fragrance with no, you know, flower vibe, with no anything else, this is one of those. Just straight up creme brulee gourmand type scent so uh naturally once i got wind that genre was perfumes is going to replicate the scent or make one of their own inspired by it i was like yes i get to save my sprays of this deliciousness so intoxicating i want to reach if you watch the layering combo video you'll see i want to reach for it all the time and i want to reach for it at bedtime and layer with it and just enjoy it i do carry it around in a little travel spray i don't know where i put it at the moment i carry it around in a little travel spray in my purse because uh, i just and sometimes i just need to i need to reach for it <laughs> Okay, so how does genre perfumes compare? How does genre perfumes mellow vanilla compare to what I've just explained uh, that Escapade Gourmand is? I wore this side by side and mellow vanilla, I also wore it on its own. So I did want to do the comparison. Um, of what sizes do they come in? We have a 50 ml, we have a 30 ml with just, I really do appreciate the atomizer on the 30 ml bottles. Five ml, and can you believe, there's also a 10 ml this size. I mean, I have misplaced it. It is gone. I don't know where it is. I have to ask my oldest. I don't know if I'm sleepwalking and misplacing my goodies, just really trying to protect them. I'm not sure what's going on here, but it's gone. <laughs> I can't find it. Uh, Mellow Vanilla, my goodness. This 50, I just had to get it in all the sizes. I don't know why. I just had so much faith in genre perfumes. I was like, they're going to kill it. It's going to be so good. And even if it deviates from the original, it's still going to be a gourmand vanilla. <laughs> and I need that. <laughs> so, yes, wore it on its own. 
Now, I wanted to gauge the longevity and I wanted to gauge the projection of Mellow Vanilla. So I did have to wear it on its own because the day that I wore them side by side, I was felt like I was wearing the exact same fragrance. I couldn't tell if the original fragrance was just completely overpowering the Mellow Vanilla. I was like, you know, it was because this is a very strong projector. You will fill up a room with these baked good vanilla. And I'm, you know, I'm just like, oh man, I can't really tell, you know? Um, and then again, it lasted all day as well. But I'm like, is this just the fact that the original Escapade Gourmand is just, you know, all over? Like, what's going on? So I did wear this on its own for certain. I wanted to definitely gauge uh, the projection and the longevity uh, for you guys. Um, so wearing it side by side, virtually wearing the same fragrance, like I'm saying, I, I could not. I was like, oh, the only differences that I'm getting here. When I wore this fragrance on its own, I did notice that the projection is softer. It's got a much, uh, there's an airier feel to the fragrance. That is, I don't mind it at all. Escapade Gourmand can definitely get a little heavy for you. Um, you know, it just a little bit the mellow vanilla never does it never gets to that you know almost sticky quality type uh sweet it is very sweet don't get me wrong but it's just it's just even the liquid itself this is just so strong this is an extract to perform concentration this is an eau de perform concentration so uh, maybe that's really the only difference that i found the opening as well when i wore it um, on its own and, and side by side, I found that this rich toffee creme brulee scent was very, very thick and pronounced and heavy from the get-go. And Mellow Vanilla does not open up like that. It opens up almost into this, the when Escapade Gourmand starts to kind of calm down. <laughs> so, um, but the smell of it is nearly identical, I'm telling you guys. It's um, it's a very just enjoyable, enjoyable fragrance. Um, so that's the that's the other only difference. Just a softer projection, a little lighter on the scent, uh, but still very enjoyable. You still get a scent bubble when I wore it on its own. Let me tell you, I I was still trying to gauge like, okay, am I leaving a scent trail? Does this have the same you know sillage that Escapade Gourmand does? Well, I was sitting in a room and a co coworker walks in and was like, oh, it smells really nice in here. I'm like, does it? You know, and I'm looking around and, and then I'm like, like what? And she's like, oh, I don't know, like a soft, sweet vanilla. I'm like, oh, that's me. <laughs> I know for a fact that's me because I am wearing genre perfumes mellow vanilla today and she's like well that is really nice i i'm i'm what's it called i'm really liking that so yes yes thank you so much i love it uh when i get feedback like that it was not overpowering to her it was not overbearing it was not sickeningly sweet to her where it bothered her senses it was enveloping and inviting so that is what i got somebody to perceive it as you know off of me and again, even when I've worn the original Escapade Gourmand, I have gotten compliments. Like, you smell so good. <laughs> I smell like a whole snack. <laughs> if you check out the layering video, you will see that you can turn this... Oh, I'm so excited because you can turn it into just the most edible smelling thing. It is an edible smelling fragrance on its own, but combining it, oh, you can just... It's good. It's a good one. This is a, a winner. Now... For attempts that I try to make and, you know, combinations I want to try out, I would much rather go with my uh, affordable option here, my Mellow Vanilla, and try things out to make certain that it's going to jive, it's going to work out for me. The longevity is there with Mellow Vanilla. It lasted all day long, um, albeit a little lighter though. It did not finish the day off as strong as the original. The original can go for days. Um, the, the mellow vanilla was still there the next day on my clothes as well, but it just, it's just like maybe an octave lower, you know, if, if, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so, um, yeah, nearly identical here, nearly identical. The only thing I'm getting is that opening just being, um, you know, a little bit lighter. Um, 
These, ooh, ooh. <laughs> These fragrances here by Genre Perfumes, they do come macerated. The, the owner will receive his product and, you know, do all they need to do, hold on to it for a while until it's ready. And, you know, when it's ready, then they release it to, to us, the consumers. So the only thing that happened with Mellow Vanilla is they wanted to get it out. There was a delay in their shipment and they wanted to get it out to us by Christmas or before Christmas. And um, thank goodness they did because I did give it away on the channel. I gave away some samples that I purchased and I also gave away um, to, to a couple of, of very close fragrant friends. They got a 10 ml that I cannot find. <laughs> I cannot find my 10 ml. Oh my gosh, yes, yes. Mellow Vanilla by Jarring Perfumes is, is if you do not have the cash to uh, splurge on the big bottle. And actually, I looked on a few sites and it is sold out. It is sold out on the Mason M Mataha site. It is sold out on Lucky Scent. It is sold out on, um, what is it called? Um, it won't even let you place the order. It's not on back order. It's just sold out <laughs> on um crystal fragrance where I purchased my bottle from so wonderful option especially I want to say that the is this seven dollars uh, or four okay this is either four dollars or seven dollars and I'm leaning more towards the four dollars but five ml sample of this just so you can see if it if it flies for you once it loads up on etsy they'll go ahead and load up the different sizes um, you know that are available the 50 ml the 30 ml the 5 ml and the 10 ml all right i think that's all that i have to say about uh escapade gourmand here versus genre perfumes mellow vanilla I hope you got the gist of it um you know just tiny bit of difference there on the the thickness um of of the scent but it's still i mean really really close this is close if i had to give it a percentage i would give it 98 percent is what i would give it and they they did that good <laughs> i can't wait to see what else comes out of this house and as always if, if there's anything exciting coming up i always like to give you guys um you know a shot at it uh try to host some giveaways and make it fun over here on this channel um, there is a couple of new scents coming out. They have their YSL uh, Baby Cat Inspiration coming out. I know that that one is hard to get a hold of, hard to find, pretty pricey. Um, and then they have a an original house blend with Feb Delicious and pom something pomegranate. Don't quote me. Uh, I'll put it up here for you guys. That is coming soon. So I'll see if I can get a hold of some samples uh, to give away for you guys here on the channel for anyone that's interested. Um, I love to share good quality products at, with amazing customer service, you know, uh, fragrance brands like these uh, with you guys here on the channel. Oh, I just do. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in to today's review. I know a few people have been questioning, um, you know, how does it compare? How does it wear? It wears beautifully. <laughs> it wears beautifully. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I have a blessed day, your night, or your evening, and you stay safe. Bye-bye.